Hello guys, welcome to my next YouTube tutorial of data structures. So today I'm going to tell you how we can perform the stack operations in Turbo C++ application. So first of all, I'll open my Turbo C++ application. So let me tell you what are the basic operations which we can perform on stack. So the basic operations are push, pop and display. So uh, for push operation, we are going to insert the elements from the top end. So let me tell you what stack is first. So stack is the last in first out. So it is a linear data structure, which is also known as last in first out because the element which is inserted at the last will be deleted first. So it has only one top end that uh, only one end that is called top end so through that top end only you can push also you can insert push means insert and pop, you can pop also pop means delete so using that particular single end we are going to insert the elements in the stack and we are going to delete the elements from the stack and we can also display the elements which are currently present in the stack so for that i have written a program that for a stack operations so i'm going to open that particular file uh, i've already written the program i'll just give you the explanation and the i'll explain the output how we can get the output here so i've uh, saved this program with so.c the extension of the file is .c as it is a c program so from here basically your main data structure starts because data structures mainly include stacks queues uh, singly linked list list uh, all the types everything linear non-linear data structures so first we'll start with this so basically you can see here uh, first of all we are including the two header files that is sgdio.h and conio.h and you can see here we are using one more uh, preprocessor directive that is hash define which is used to uh, for user definitions like if the user wants to give uh, his own his or her own value we can use hash define preprocessor directive so here i am defining the variable size is equal to 5 so throughout the program the value of variable size will be 5 so uh, here i am writing the three functions you can see here void push means uh, this function will be for inserting the elements and then void pop means this uh, this function for will be for deleting the elements and void display you can understand by the word like we are going to display the elements so now i am again declaring uh, of stack of data type int so the values which we are going to insert are integers and uh, stack size means stack of size 5 you can see here i'm using directly the uh, variable size and in place of this size the program will initialize this 5 so in stack of size 5 so here i've declared the stack of size 5 okay then uh, next is we are going to uh, declare the top end that is top is equal to minus 1 when our stack is empty the value of top will be is equal to 1 okay so right now our stack is empty so i'm giving top is equal to minus 1 and this also will be of data type int so here you can see here i'm starting with my main program so this is our main program from here our main program starts so first of all we declare the variables so what are the basic variables I'm using here is inte of data type integer that is value and choice. So uh, I'm using CLRSCR which is used to clear the output screen each and every time. And here I'm using while loop while one one means true. So while true. So this will definitely execute this uh, while loop. So print F it is it is going to print push our first option is push second option is pop third option is display and fourth option is exit and you can see here in between i have given slash t slash t slash t is the tab space it will give a tab space between these push pop display and exit then after printing this particular thing it will again print enter your choice 
so we are going to enter a choice whether we are going to push whether we are going to pop whether we are going to display or we are going to exit so uh, then we will read the choice so I'm going to scan the choice of percentage D and I'm percent choice the so choice will be one two three and four so here we are using our switch case okay so what we are using in uh, what uh, what we are declaring here in switch case is choice so here four choices I have one two three and four so I'm going to write the cases for those four choices so switch choice and I'm going to uh, open the braces for the switch block so it uh, so basically switch uh, statement executes a particular block in your program so what is your case one here you can see uh, here our case one is push so I'm going to write for push so printf enter the value to be inserted then it will read the value from the user because user will give the user defined value so it will scan percentage d and ampersand value then what it will do is it will push value push means it will insert that particular value to your stack then we are going to break it if user did not does not choose this case one then if it what if it chooses case two so in case two it will pop means it will delete and it will come out break it will break this uh, case then what if user does, does not choose the first two option it, it wants to display the items then it will display then function then you can end it with semicolon and again we are going to break it because for this we are going to write the functions later then uh, what if the user chooses case 4 that is exit 0 okay and uh, here I'm going to write the default default means what if uh, user chooses the fifth option because here in our conditions fifth option does not exist so it is going to print wrong selection try again so here it is a default so here I'm going to close my main program my switch case my while loop and then my main program so now I'm going to write functions for this you can see here for this I'll write push pop display and exit so for these four functions I'm going to write the body you can see here first of all we'll use a uh, void push so void push of data type int value so value is of data type int okay so what we are going to write in this function is if but first of all we are going to write a if condition so if condition says that if top which is right now minus one because we have not inserted any value the stack is empty so when the stack is empty the value of top is minus one so if top is is equal to is equal to size minus one so size is basically five so uh, size minus one is four so if top is is equal to is equal to four see the top is starting from minus so when it when we will insert one in element it will go to zero then it will go to one two three and four so four will be, will be the last element top when the top is, is equal to four means the stack is full because it is starting from minus one so it will not go till five it will stop before five so it will stop at four so that four is the highest or the maximum amount uh, of numbers can uh, four four top is equal to 4 is the maximum amount of numbers which can be inserted in our stack so when if top is is equal to is equal to size minus 1 size minus 1 is 4 if your top is is equal to 4 means what it will print is stack overflow insertion is not possible so what is overflow here is overflow means the stack is overflowing means the stack is already full you cannot insert the other uh, you cannot insert other values into this stack your stack is already full Okay. and if top is not is equal to is equal to size minus 1 what if top is is equal to 3 what if top is is equal to 2 or 1 or 0 so what it will do is it will execute the else block so what our else block says is top plus plus it will increment the top okay so after increment incrementing the top what it says is stack of top 
is equal to value so stack of top so here stack of top means uh, after incrementing top is equal to minus 1 it will be top is equal to 0 so stack of 0 is equal to value so here it will initialize the value so at the position uh, 0 0th position the particular value will be inserted then it will show printf insertion is successful okay so now let's go to the void pop so pop function is used to uh, delete the items from the stack so what it, uh, first of all here also we are using the top uh, if condition so what our if condition says is if top is equal to is equal to minus one see if the top is already empty means i told you then when the stack is empty the value of top will be minus one so if top is is equal to is equal to minus one then here uh, it open the braces what it will print is the stack is under flow deletion is not possible see already stack is em empty so what you will delete if there are no elements in the stack so what you are going to delete you can't delete anything so it will show stack is under flowing means already it is empty so you cannot delete the deletion is impossible okay then what if our top is, is equal to zero or one or two or three or four what if our stack is uh, uh, full or some of the elements are there two, one or two elements are there so what it will do item deleted it will print item deleted is equal to percentage t so current position of top is uh, let's assume that current position of top is two so here it would delete the item percentage d stack of two so the position of the second position number element will be deleted and the top will be decremented means if it was at 2 it will be decremented to 1 so top will be directing towards the last element that is top is equal to 1 second last element okay so this is how you are going to delete your elements then next comes your void display so how you are going to display your elements so it's uh, again if condition if top is, is equal to is equal to minus one so again if top is uh, if stack is empty then what you are going to show what you are going to uh, display the elements so if there are no elements you cannot display any elements so it will print uh, stack is under flow if our stack is full or there are two or three elements then it will execute the else block so what our else block says is uh, we are going to declare one element int i so for that we are going to use for loop because we have to display all the elements not the uh, elements one by one we are not going to display the elements one by one so we are going to all the dis uh, all the elements at once we are going to display all the elements at once so printf the uh, stack elements are so i am using here for loop so what our for loop says is if here i is equal to zero so first condition the i is equal to zero okay i is less than or equal to top i should be less than or equal to top and i plus plus so what it will print here is printf percentage d slash n stack of i so right now i is, is equal to zero okay and i is less than or equal to top means it is less than i uh, top is uh, let's assume that stack is full so zero is obviously less than or equal to top it is less than top means it top the value of top is 4 so 0 is obviously less than 4 so it is going to print the first value then again it will go to the for loop now it has incremented i plus plus it has been done so now i is, is equal to 1 so i is less than 4 means uh, 1 is less than 4 yes so again it will print uh, it will print the second element so it will go on until the i becomes 5 because it is not less than or equal to 5 it is greater than five, 4 so when i becomes 5 so this condition becomes false and it will print it, it, uh, it will print all the elements of the stack so this is how you your uh, this is how you execute your or your display block so this was uh, your program for stack operations so once i am going to compile it so 
there are no errors so it is showing a success press any key so if you have any errors if you have any doubts uh, you can ask in the comment section we'll definitely try to solve it then i'm going to run this program so uh, first of all and our stack is empty right now so first of all i'll choose the first option to push means i'll insert the elements so insert the uh, enter the item to be inserted so first item is 12 insertion success you can see now again it is, it is asking for my preference which option i would like to choose so again i will choose one and i'll insert 34 then again i will insert one, one, one more element and i'll insert 45 then i'm going to enter the four elements so i have already inserted three so next element will be 70 uh, so it is uh, again asking for my choice so the value i'll give here is 78 so insertion is success okay now i'm going to display so first of all we are going to display all the elements all four elements so you can see here i have uh, inserted the elements 12 34 70 45 and 78 okay so now i'm going to pop i'll pop uh, means i'm going to delete the elements so i have deleted item deleted 78 okay so you can see here the last item i inserted was 78 and the first one to get deleted was 78 so that's why it is called last in first out and again i'm going to pop item deleted now i'm going to display you can see here only two elements are left now again i am going to pop 34 is deleted now again i am going to pop you can see here all four elements i have deleted now if i want to display the elements what it will give you can see stack is underflow means stack is already empty so you cannot display anything so now if you if i want to come out of this i'll give four and i'll come out of this output screen so this is how you uh, perform your stack operations in your turbo c++ applications or data structures using c so i'll come out uh, using our alt enter shortcut key so this was all about your stack operations in data structures so through this video you got to know about the four operations the four, uh, three basic operations that is uh, push pop and display so thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for further updates.